Petulia, a film released in 1968, offers a compelling glimpse into the complexities of human relationships against the backdrop of cultural shifts in the 1960s. Directed by Richard Lester, the movie weaves a tale of love, loss, and societal transformations. Set in San Francisco, it follows the unconventional relationship between a young newlywed, Petulia, and a divorced doctor, Archie. Their entangled lives reflect the era's upheavals, from the shifting norms of love to the societal tensions simmering beneath the surface. The film's poignant portrayal of emotions and its exploration of societal change may resonate deeply with viewers. It prompts reflection on personal experiences, perhaps evoking a cherished memory or a moment that leaves a lasting impact. It's a film that invites introspection, sparking questions about love, choices, and the intricacies of human connections. What scene or moment in this movie has had a lasting impact on you? Do you have a cherished memory associated with this film? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your experiences and thoughts. Let's delve deeper into the lasting impressions of Petulia. The 1968 movie Petulia was filmed extensively in San Francisco and Tijuana. San Francisco provided various iconic locations for the film, including the Filbert Steps, the Embarcadero, the Presidio, Fort Scott, Tiburon, Sausalito, Muir Woods, and the Fairmont San Francisco Ballroom. The production team spent 11 weeks filming in San Francisco before moving on to a week in Tijuana. Interestingly, to capture the fundraising party scenes at the beginning of the movie, the production company took over the lobby of the Fairmont Hotel for a week. Filming between midnight and 6 a.m., this effort showcased their commitment to obtaining the right setting for the film's crucial scenes. Moreover, Vanessa Redgrave, a renowned actress, was offered the lead role in Petulina. However, on the advice of her husband, director Tony Richardson, she chose to accept the lead role in Camelot, which seemed to offer a more significant career opportunity at the time. These elements contribute to the backdrop and behind-the-scenes decisions that shaped the making of Petulia, adding layers to its production and casting history. The film Petulia, released in 1968, boasted a cast featuring two Oscar winners, George C. Scott and Julie Christie, alongside Oscar nominee Shirley Knight. Notably, it marked cinematographer Nicholas Robes' final job before embarking on his directing career. Robes' work on Petulia laid the groundwork for his distinct filmmaking style characterized by rapid, fragmented cross-cutting that infuses narratives with unexpected juxtapositions. Critic Jonathan Rosenbaum highlighted Petulia as the canvas where Rogue honed the stylistic elements later seen in his directorial debut performance. Additionally, Charles Wood significantly contributed to the screenplay without receiving formal credit. These facets enrich the behind-the-scenes narrative of Petulia, underscoring the film's significance and cinematic history. Petulia, a 1968 film, took viewers on a tour of San Francisco during the summer of 1967. The scenes were woven into the city's fabric, featuring notable spots like the Call of Foods on Hyde, the Fairmont Hotel, and the apartment building at 37 Filbert Street. But amidst these familiar locations, keen-eyed observers might catch a unique detail a scene with Archie and his son showcases two children's tippy tents adorned with motifs from the German, Yugoslavian Western Winnetou Unsane Fruned Old Firehand, featuring actors Pierre Bryce and Marie Versini. Additionally, amidst the cinematic tapestry, Archer's car in the film stands out a sleek 1967 Chevrolet Camaro RS convertible. These subtle yet distinctive elements add layers to the movie's setting and characters, weaving in cultural references and automotive aesthetics that enrich the backdrop of Petulia. Archie's apartment in the film was situated at 37 Filbert Street in San Francisco, a building constructed in 1966, a year before the movie's production. Interestingly, to accommodate the filming, apartments B and C were merged by removing a partition. This alteration allowed space for the cameras and crew. The site, housing three apartments, served as the backdrop for Archie's residence, adding a touch of authenticity to the scenes. This detail reveals the thoughtful adjustments made behind the scenes to create the desired setting for Petulia's narrative, demonstrating the meticulous efforts taken during filming. The 1968 movie Petulia captures the essence of San Francisco during its psychedelic rock era. 
Among its vibrant scenes lies a unique moment. The opening features Janice Joplin performing with Big Brother and The Holding Company just before her solo career took off. Adding to the cultural richness, members of the Grateful Dead, including Jerry Garcia, make appearances during a medical emergency scene. Garcia also graces the screen in artistic duplication some mural, and a bus bench display his iconic presence. Set against the backdrop of San Francisco's music scene, this film intertwines with the era's vibrant energy, marking the cinematic debuts of actors Austin Pendleton and Ellen Gier. Petulia remains a snapshot of a dynamic time in both film and musical history. The 1968 movie Petulia underwent several transformations before hitting the screens. Originally titled Romance, it shifted locations from Los Angeles to San Francisco. It was almost a different cast altogether, eyeing James Garner and Julie Christie initially, while the sought-after Paul Newman was considered for a role. Yet, amidst these changes, the film settled on its title, Petulia. The novel it was based on, Me and the Arch Coupe Petulia, inspired this cinematic journey, while cities like London, Rome, and Paris were pondered before the camera landed in San Francisco. This evolution of ideas and cast decisions shaped the film we now know as Petulia, offering a glimpse into the intricate process of filmmaking. The radical editing techniques employed in the 1968 movie Petulia sparked intense conflicts between director Richard Lester and Rudy Fayer, the head of Warner Bros. editing department. Lester, with final cut rights, stood firm despite pressure, earning praise from David Lean, a former esteemed film editor turned director. Interestingly, studio suggestions for casting, like proposing Robert Redford for David or Paul Newman, James Garner for Archie, were overridden, reflecting Lester's determined choices. Additionally, the voice of Mr. Howard was dubbed by actor, director Lee Strasberg. These clashes and casting decisions shed light on the intricate dynamics behind the scenes of Petulia, showcasing directorial autonomy and creative clashes within the film industry. The fragile facade, the vulnerability of Petulia's cast navigating depression under public scrutiny. Petulia's cast faced a daunting challenge beyond the silver screen. Amidst fame's glare, some grappled with the shadows of depression, a silent struggle under public scrutiny. For these individuals, seeking help was a formidable task while living in the spotlight. The weight of maintaining a public facade added layers of complexity to their battles, concealing their private anguish beneath the glitz of Hollywood. Despite their talent, their inner turmoil remained hidden from the world, a fragile veil over their vulnerability. The difficulties in finding support and solace while bearing the burden of fame reveal a deeper, more fragile side to the lives behind the silver screen. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey, I invite you to pause and embrace the lingering echoes of Petulina. Let the film's tapestry of emotions and intricate storytelling resonate within you. Perhaps it sparked a memory, tugged at your heartstrings, or ignited a thought that resonates with the film's essence. Consider the characters' intricacies, their joys, and their struggles. Immerse yourself in their world, reflect on their choices, and how they mirror moments in your own life. Maybe it's the evocative cinematography, the haunting soundtrack, or the poignant performances that have left an indelible mark. Your experiences, reflections, and connections to Petulia are unique and invaluable. Share your thoughts, memories, or even the subtlest emotions it stirred within you. Let's weave a tapestry of shared experiences, celebrating the profound impact this film has had on us individually. Thank you for sharing this cinematic odyssey with me. Your perspectives enrich the fabric of our collective understanding of this masterpiece. Until we embark on our next voyage of discovery, may the echoes of Petulia linger and inspire. Thank you for your time and interest.